But I guess what I'm asking is how <laughs> severe do you regard the is it something like, for instance, uh, licensing of automobiles where even a libertarian would say there's a case for it, or do you regard it as a severe intrusion into personal liberty justified by, by what's on the other side? I, think I, that's what I, I'm I like the Massachusetts law. I would make it a uh, significant offense even to sell a gun without reporting that uh, sale and seeing to it that the conducting of that gun from your home to somebody else's home was done under monitored auspices. So I, I fall somewhere between uh, Mr. Carter and, and Sheriff Buckley on this. Yeah, I just, Sheriff Buckley, I guess, I guess since we're at the end of the program, I could ask you this more bluntly. Is the National Rifle Association, in terms of what it actually does, as opposed to what it says, is it a, how, how shall I put this, a destructive organization in our national life? Not destructive in the sense that it intends to be, but if from the point of view, yes, from the point of view of it, if it's, very effective prevention of meaningful gun control laws, it is destructive. And it will be more so in the 80s, in this decade of the 80s, than at any time of the history of America. 